So Catherine, thank you so much for joining us. We're here at Blenheim. Tell us a little bit about, um, first of all, how long have you been here in England? Um, I've been in England for two years now. Okay, and that was a decision to move from the US England purely to events? Yes. How I much? came over with one horse, okay. and I have five horses now. Oh so my gosh! I've <laughs> acquired some since I've been here. And you spent a year at Heatley Stud, and now you're yes, and now I'm based at Rockley with Lisa and Lisa De Green. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have five horses. Um, how much eventing did you done when you left the US? Um, I I did a bit um, when I was in university at UGA. Um, and went to, did through One Star with a horse that I actually bought from Mike and Emma Winter. Okay. Um, and actually won the One Star on him there. So, and then I got away from eventing um, and did three years of pure dressage and had a horse that I took through to Pre St. George and then did some show jumping and decided I missed the eventing. So, bought a young eventer and moved over here. Perfect. Well, there couldn't be a better place to be. Now you have five horses. Tell us a little bit the mare you have here at Blenheim. This mare, I've had, this is my first full season on her. Um, I got her in the middle of the season last year. Um, she's amazing. She's super cross country. She just is like a war horse. She just attacks everything. Um, still have a bit of work to do with her on the flat. Um, she at Hopeton, she got a 48. We were second there. And that was her personal best. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. And I think we'll get there. We've got the winter to work on and to work on her flat this season. But um, so then she, hopefully she'll come out strong next yeah. season for the three star and hopefully do a four star next season with her. So and I watched yeah. a little bit in the warm up. Who helps you with your dressage? Who um, is that? Lisa White helps okay. me. Um, she is Kiwi, trains a part of the Kiwis here. So she's she's been brilliant actually. Um, she's really helped me come along with the mayor. So. And tell me a little bit about the setup. Do you ride your own horses every day? Do you work at other jobs or what do you um, do? Yes, I have. Um, started a supplement company since I've been over here actually um, ready sub so I've been really busy with that kind of trying to juggle the horses um, in the business but um, I have an amazing groom she's super she, you know she does a lot of the the fast work with the horses for me and the galloping um, was that Kaz who is here with you now? yes okay. uh -huh. and then I can just so you know then after work I just come and have a couple to school so and what yeah. levels are the other horses? Um, I have another one that I got over the winter that's also at three star that I got from Charlotte Agnew. Okay. Um, and he's lovely. I've had an unfortunate season with him. He got the farrier dipped his feet a little mm. too short and it just kind of has ruined our season, especially because we're chasing qualifications. So um, hopefully we'll have better luck next season with him, but he's lovely. Um, then I have this mare and I have an, the one that I brought over who's intermediate um, two star level and then I have two kind of sale projects um, a one star Connemara pony that's for sale and then a two star horse that's for sale so. and you're from New Orleans originally which yes. can be much more different to England Do you oh get I know <laughs> I struggle with the winter so much it gets I'm like the one that comes out like the Michelin man <laughs> with like all the down in the rain and I walk out and like you know some English person on the yards in their t-shirt and I'm like yeah. what wait like today so is hot it is. except it's not really do you get back yeah. at all and do you miss um, it I did. The first year was hard. I missed home a lot the first year, um, but now you know you kind of. It takes time to make friends and settle in, and um, I go home obviously for Christmas, um, and maybe what my family comes over here in the summer, so that's good. Are they a horsey family? Do they understand what on earth they're um, doing? Yes, my, I have a younger sister who does show jumping and the hunter jumper stuff at home. So, and my dad's acquiesced and goes to all the shows with her and um, so yeah they're, they're horsey enough that they get it so okay what about the cross country on Saturday you said your mare's a cross country machine have you walked the course and what oh, do you think amazing. she's amazing cross country um not yet I was waiting till after the dressage <laughs> first things first and have well have you been to Blenheim before on foot no this is my first time okay. so even spectating what do you think uh, well, it looks big enough from, from here, just from seeing the jumps that I've seen on the way over. Um, and what do you think about the event, just first impressions as a horse trial? Oh, it's lovely. It's amazing. The, the whole eventing scene, I feel like in general in this country, it's so it's amazing with young horses that you're bringing on anyway because, you know, there's something every weekend. And in between, you can go show jumping during the week, you can go do dressage during the week. It's just, it really is um, a, another level. Yeah. Um, from, to what we really just don't have at home and and obviously then the level of competition um, 
you know, you, you've got to be perfect if you want to if yeah. you want to be up in the rosettes. But um, it's I I love also. There's a great amount of camaraderie over here. I feel like you know I've moved over here and I'm I'm kind of nobody. And you know Mark Todd and and Jock Paget and and they're all from the top down. They're just they're so helpful and so friendly and it's it's been wonderful. It really has. So, so do you see yourself being here long term? I have two more years on my visa, so for sure for the next two years, and then you know we'll see how it goes. Well, thanks so much for joining us, and best yeah. of luck this weekend. Thank I'm you. sure we'll catch up again soon. Super, thanks. Thank you.